All right, so today we're gonna reseal the tank on my wife's 1977 XL100 Honda. I took it fishing last week. On the way back, had to climb up a little bit of a hill. Spitting and sputtering like it was running out of gas. Put it on reserve, that helped for about two seconds. Got home, cleaned, pulled the petcock off, and sure enough, it was full of gravel or rust and whatnot. So uh, when, we re when we got this one going again, it was a barn find. Uh, put a $19 Chinese carburetor on it, changed the oil, and it fired right up. Set points. Didn't put a lot of work. Once we knew it would run, put tires, brakes on it, chain. and uh, But never got around to doing the tank. It has a den in it. My wife's learning to ride on this. I assume she will crash it eventually. So I'm not putting a lot of effort into the exterior of the tank. We did pop one den out together. But so today we're going to use... Oops. The uh, KBS Cycle Tank Sealer Kit. I've used this once before. I When I did the TL tank, I used it. And it was really good. It didn't show a leak until I was doing the seal on it. And uh, the seal, the sealer inside held it up. And it's, what, two years later? Still no leaking. No crap. No separation. I had seen somebody use something on a Yamaha th DT360. And it was peeling off on the inside. Uh, this this stuff here has held on beautifully. I'm really pleased with it on the tank on that one. So we're doing the same thing on this one. This afternoon I pulled the seat and pulled the tank. Uh, and we're doing the cleaning section of it. We're using the KBS Clean. And this is exactly what I used when I did the TL. Uh, the key to this to me, just like with any paint job, and that's essentially all this is, 75% uh, of your work is prep. Good prep means a good paint job. The um, Patience. Don't get in a hurry. I've had the uh, cleaner in the tank for probably four hours now. I'm probably going to leave it overnight. Uh, I've got some bolts in, or nuts in there, rather, to knock any loot, rust loose. Every hour or so, I come out here and I rotate the, shake it around. I'll uh, probably drain this out tomorrow morning, give it a good rinse. And then I can start on the next stage. Okay, so after soaking it overnight in the KBS Clean, this is what we've got. A sediment. Now, I had four nuts down in there to knock stuff loose, and it really helped knock all that rust out. This tank was really not that bad, but you get a lot out of there. All right, we'll let it dry overnight. Next step is the uh, acid etch in preparation. 